Hello and welcome to the second demo video of how to merge for MSCRI 2011. Um, in the last video I talked about the working principle and made a very simple configuration. So I recommend you to take a look into that one first, because this time I will do some more advanced configurations. To be more detailed, what we'd like to do is to create invoices. So starting from an invoice consisting of some products, a customer, um, we want to create a Word document that looks something like that, so information about the customer at the top, followed by the list of the products and some wishes at the end. In contrast to the other video, I will work with dialogues this time. We will afterwards see why this is an advantage in that case. So we start again with um, creating the process. So we go to settings, processes and create a new dialog. We name the dialog and it's called invoice dialog. Choose the entity which is invoice in that case and the category should be a dialog and start with a new blank process. So what we get is the basic configuration form of MSURM. And um, this time I will separate the steps into two stages. The first will be a dialog that will allow us to choose the template we want to use. And the second one, some kind of the auto merge part of it, which means that um, we um, create a template and so on. So what we do in the first step is to um, first uh, create a query that retrieves the templates we uh, want the, the users to, to get the chance to choose. So um, we open a new query, say entity type should be equal invoice, a document callback template. This looks good, so all templates from um, invoice are listed, and click save and close. Um, next to the query, we need the page itself, so we click on add and click page. So this should be the page that keeps the, the checkbox for the, or the, the drop down box for the, for the template. So let's call it template page. And now we need a prompt and response step. Let's give it a title on um, template prompt. And we proceed with a click on set properties. Okay, uh, the prompt text will be, uh, please choose the template something like that and the same for the tip text actually you can of course use any kind of prompt and response you want um, the response types should be a pick list actually so a pick list with the templates that can be chosen and the provided values should be the one from the query we created before so choose choose template query and the name that's it save and close and we can proceed so we do have our dialog ready and we can add the second st stage which will be the auto merge part. So um, quite equal to the other demo video we now have to use the auto merge workflow specific operations in here so we choose create document first. Um, the properties um, we need to set is the template that should be executed but actually this should be from the choose template option we created before so it's the template prompt um, this time we will um, save the document as a PDF. We don't need to send it to the printer, so otherwise we could define the printer value. Click on save and close and proceed. So, um, well, we should give it a title. It's the create document part, or create invoice. And the next step will be um, to create an email entity, because we want to attach the PDF file to an email afterwards. So we name it create email and as entity type we choose email and proceed with set properties. Um, now we get to the standard um, email form. We can add some predefined fields. I will keep this quite simple for demo purposes. So the from should be the, the user that created the invoice. The recipient should actually be the customer the invoice has been created for. So it's an account in our case. It could be contact as well, depends. Um, the subject may should contain the invoice number, so we choose invoice, invoice ID. Here we go. Um, and add some text. So dear, 
Hmm. Maybe the account name there. Probably we should use the primary contact or something like that. However, um, let's add some further text. Invoice from, let's use the invoice date. So it's just a matter of setting up the basic layout of the email activity. So we just have to do minor modifications at the very end. Um, please don't hesitate to ask in case of questions or something like that. And maybe um, we should use the name of the user the best regards and a first name, last name of the user that has created the invoice again. Where is it? First name is there. And there should be a last name too. Ah, oh, full name. Full name is better. Okay, that's it. So we've got the email, we've got the document, we now need to attach to email. It's not a predefined automatic workflow um, step. Uh, let's call it attach document to mail and proceed with set properties. Within here, we just have to place two options. The first is the email to attach. As it has been created within the workflow, we have to choose the local value email and the same for the document. In the local values, we should see um, the create invoice step. So the one we created before, click on OK. And that's it. We do have the document, we do have the email, and with this step, the document should be attached to the email automatically. So the, the, the dialog is ready. Basically, we just need to save and activate it at this point. And we can directly proceed with an example how it works out. So every user is now um, able to just uh, start a dialog with the menu at the top. Here's our invoice dialog. And with a click on OK, we immediately get to the template prompt. And this is the main advantage because now we can choose which template should be used from the invoices. Should be the English one, the German one, can be different layouts as well for specific products or something like that. And with a click on Next, uh, it's basically all the user sees and the background. The dialog starts, so we should see it in the dialog sessions. There's the invoice dialog. It has already completed, so pretty, pretty fast. And by um, refreshing the activities, we can see the email already. The fields have all been filled as defined in our dialog settings. And the main important part, of course, is the attachment section where we should find the invoice. So we've got this PDF file and with a click, we can see the result. And as you see, our invoice has been uh, transformed into a document and attached to this email. So actually, um, sending an invoice is just a matter of choosing the template we want to use at that, at that point and maybe make some final modifications to the email text at the very end. But somehow, this gets something like a, a one-click scenario. So, as you can see, there are a lot, a lot of options how AutoMerge can be used within CRM. May I just check it? should just um, give it a try by downloading the trial version, have some tests and, well, see how it works out.